to summarize for anybody watching this video, if you have been thinking about buying a house um, and the rates seem too high and the numbers don't seem to pencil out, this might be an opportunity for you to say, well, hold on, wait, you know, we might find the right house and we might be able to be creative if we find something like this. Thanks so much for taking the time to join me and answer some questions and give us some information about what's going on in the mortgage industry right now. If you'd like to just give a quick intro for whoever is watching this video about yourself and your company. Hey guys, my name is Steve. I'm a mortgage broker. My company is located in Walnut Creek and I've been owner of this company for about three years. Prior to that, I was working in a different brokerage. All in all, about nine nine years uh, in the business, and primarily our business is located in the Bay Area. But this year, you know, because the market changes, I decided to kind of like uh, explore other territories, other states. So right now we're uh, we're just getting approved in South Carolina, but still primarily, you know, I grew up in the Bay Area, so I'm here. So majority of the business and clients that we help is in the Bay Area. The name of your company is A U E Lending. And we will have your contact and phone wherever people can reach out to you in the description of wherever they're watching this video. So the reason why I asked you to join me today is, um, number one, we just closed a really, really awesome, amazing deal that I've never heard of before. And I think you said is like one of the craziest ones of the year for you too. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that and to show people what's possible out there that this year, 2023, rates have gone up, interest rates have gone up from you know, being in the high twos, low 3% interest rate range uh, in previous years, recent years, to now you have having gone up above 7%. You'll tell us a little bit about where they're at today. And right now we're shooting this video. It's mid-November, November 15th, 2023. But specifically, let's talk a little bit about the deal that we just did. And if you can, you know, walk people through this and keep in mind that people who might be watching this might be people who are thinking about buying a house or uh, planning on buying a house sometime, you know, maybe in the next year, two years, three years. Uh, where the market is likely to be similar to what it is today. And so being creative with people like yourself, people like myself, I think is a great idea. I have to say this definitely is one of the deals that like I'm going to remember <laughs> forever uh, because it's kind of like unheard of, you know, in the Bay Area. Like I said, I started working in different markets. So seller concessions is a big topic now. Seller concessions is when like we make an offer and we ask the seller to credit us back some money at closing. So uh, as I work different states, different regions, you know, it's becoming more and more popular where you get 3%, like, you know, 20K back, 15K back. But in the Bay Area, it's not that common. And to be able to get a deal in where we locked in a price, which is actually below the list price, and then we asked the sellers to credit us $61,000 to use for this program called the 3 to 1 buy down, which just for people that are new to this, I know it's gaining a lot of momentum now, but basically let's say the interest rate is 799, 30 year fix. Now we could ask the sellers to basically prepay the first three years of someone's mortgage. So the $61,000 goes to the lender, is being held in this account, and is basically subsidizing the, our client's payment. I could try to pull up the numbers, but in, in basically, so the first year the client would have $1,500 lower payment. Now, this is huge because for somebody that, let's just say an example, we got in at the at the moment where rates peaked. Like we haven't seen rates like that in 25 years. So now they're kind of like, you know, stabilizing, coming down a little bit. But at that moment, it was a lot of fear in the market. Like rates were like super high. And what this tool can do, it basically goes back in time and gives somebody an interest rate that was there beginning of the year. Well, you know, I mean, you know, because you're in the you're in the market, you guys have a lot of like sellers, buyers in the Bay Area. So, you know, beginning of the year was a lot more buyers in the market, right? When the interest rate was five and a half, six. It was busier, definitely the beginning of the year than it was towards the end of the year. But obviously, when you compare that to a few years ago, it was still uh, much slower. So but but yes, definitely. Yeah, I also, I also think this might be the first uh, holiday season when we could kind of relax a little bit, you know? The last three years have been like crazy. There's no like seasonality in real estate or at least in the Bay Area market. Like November, December was still like busy as hell. I know there's 
a lot of people that have questions kind of in detail. It's kind of hard to talk about it like over over a Zoom. But the idea is that you basically uh, using the seller's uh, help, you basically lock in an interest rate that's three percent below the market for the first year. The second year is going to be 2% below, and the third year is going to be 1% below. And in this particular scenario, the purchase price was 1.1 or 1.12. And in their case, it ended up being 1500 bucks lower uh, for the whole first year using this program. To give people who are watching this video a little bit of context, in our area, it is it has always been pretty unheard of to have a seller credit. You know, and most of the time, for most of my career, uh, we've been in a very hot market where it is multiple offers and very competitive, and you have to be no contingencies, as is very solid offer. Now, because interest rates have gone up and caused a lot of buyers to not be able to afford these payments at these prices, and sellers being more motivated to sell, we have been able to negotiate seller credits for these types of buy downs. And so this one specifically was, yeah, we wrote an offer at a million 120 and uh, the sellers agreed to pay $61,000 as a seller credit that was used for a three, two, one buy down, which drastically decreased the monthly payments that the buyer would pay for the first year, two years, three years with them being able to now feel a lot better about buying this home because they can afford the monthly payments at a much better price than they otherwise would have. It allowed the seller to net a certain amount that they are happy with. And overall, it's a win-win for everybody in the sense that the seller netted what they want, the buyers have great payments, and so it, it was a good situation. So it's situations like these where creativity comes into play, where if you don't know about these tools or you don't think about this, then Otherwise, this deal wouldn't have happened because even if these clients got it for a million sixty thousand, the house, the payments would still be pretty mm-hmm. high for the first couple of years. This tool, these seller credits, these three to one buy downs or two one buy down or these kind of things are a great way for people to be able to buy a house that they want for an affordable price, even with interest rates being high, because now it is less competitive and sellers are more willing to accommodate people with these types of things. This was definitely uh, one takes the cake in my career because I haven't seen I haven't seen such a big aggressive. So I don't know how you pulled it off, man, but uh, but good <laughs> kudos to you because that's like uh, unheard of. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. I'd love to take the credit, but I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it's just uh, I spoke with you and I said, hey, what can we do to make it affordable? And you told me the numbers and we wrote an offer and we had some back and forth and ultimately the seller agreed and the agent on the listing side, uh, you know, talked to the seller, gave them the information, you know, and the market was in our favor as far as it Mm -hmm. being slow in that particular pocket. So yeah, I appreciate that. And if you, you know, didn't recommend this, then probably I wouldn't have thought about this, right? I didn't really, uh, this isn't something that I remember. This this program is kind of important to point out because I know a lot of like banks, some big banks are starting to roll out, but the three to one program, this is like exclusive product, like only in the broker community. So I haven't, I haven't seen any retail channels like roll this out. Like, um, I mean, I've had it. I closed one actually end of last year too, a little bit smaller. Like scenario it wasn't as big as seller credit, but the three to one was already already around. So that's kind of also important thing to point out because this is definitely the only program that's going to get you the best bang for your buck in terms of how to get a lower payment. Because rates went down, like, you know, when we got into that deal, maybe we wouldn't have gotten into it today because the rates went down a quarter, uh, like from the time that we locked that one in. This program is the only way to get you a rate in the fives like today. To summarize for anybody watching this video, if you have been thinking about buying a house um, and the rates seem too high and the numbers don't seem to pencil out, this might be an opportunity for you to say, well, hold on, wait. You know, we might find the right house and we might be able to be creative if we find something like this, a home that's been maybe sitting on the market a little bit longer, that a seller is more motivated to sell and they're willing to do something like this, this kind of seller credit where they net what they want to net so they can move on with their life. 
and you're able to get lower payments. And so I highly recommend if you're working with a realtor to speak to that realtor and uh, you're working with a lender, get a second opinion from Steve at AUE Lending or myself as a realtor to help you out.